Have you ever wondered whether or not there's a difference in game performance if you have Windows Defender on or Windows Defender off? Well, let's find out. So sit down, strap in, let's go. Right guys, as mentioned in the intro, a bit of fun today. I'm going to be testing gaming performance with Windows Defender on versus gaming performance with Windows Defender off. So unless you have a iGPU, I don't really think Windows Defender is really going to affect your, your gaming performance in terms of average FPS 1% lows. But let's find out in any way. So guys, before I get to my results, please, if you're not subscribed, please consider subscribing if you find this content helpful. To those of you that are subscribed to my channel, please, 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 just make sure that all notifications are on so that you do know, are notified when I drop a new video. Really will help me with the algorithm. While you're at it, hit that like button, um, comment on the video and share the video. And then for those of you new to the channel, I have um, all my benchmarks uh, in video control panel related in, in the video control panel section over here. And then I do have op uh, on my own page, I have performance optimizations, full GPU optimization, full CPU optimization, which incidentally step one and two shows you how to unlock undervolting on tension and newer CPUs, as well as a full Windows optimization. But I will be redoing these videos in the next week or two. So uh, look out for that. But you're not here for that, you're here for the results. So guys, Windows Defender I tested on versus Windows Defender off. All my games are tested at medium settings, single player games. Uh, with the exception of the newer titles, everything is medium. Newer titles are all on low because I do test on a little fainty dainty GTX 1650 laptop. Um, and then I set FSR to quality on all those games. As mentioned, I test on GTX, not the RTX. Um, and then I use the latest NVIDIA driver 546.17. So guys, um, with Windows Defender on, um, I, over how many games did I test? I tested 14 games. Over 14 games, when I add up all my average FPS, I get to 893. When I add up all my 1% lows, I get to 675. And then when I add up all my 0.1% lows, I get to 552. So then once I switch off Windows Defender, and because I have Windows Home, uh, I can't do it via, um, ooh, what is that program called? I can't do it via group policy. I have to do it via, uh, via regedit. Uh, so I switch off uh, Windows Defender via regedit. And then over those 14 games, when I add up all my average FPS, I get to 892. So you can see one FPS difference, but it's pretty much the same thing. When I add up all my 1% lows, I get to 675. So exactly the same with Windows Defender on and Windows Defender off. The only place where there's a difference is when I add up all the 0.1% lows, I get to 572 over those 14 games. So you can see it's 20 fps higher over 14 games the 0.1 percent lows with windows defender off so windows defender doesn't affect performance except for your 0.1 percent lows so those are your little micro status um it's not a lot at that um obviously your computer is going to be a lot safer with, with windows defender on you might want to consider um maybe switching off windows defender if you're gaming on uh, on an igpu but in 2023, I really don't think you should be gaming on the iGPU. But anyways, guys, um, I'm, uh, I'm about to install Windows 11. I want to retest Windows 11 and compare to Windows 10. That will be my video for tomorrow. But in the meantime, thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to smash that like button. If you have any questions, please hit me up in the comment section. And guys, as always, if you're still watching it and you haven't subscribed as of yet, now's the time to do so. It's the start of a new week. Have a good one. It's people like you. Cheers.